I'm Debbie Homer Davis and welcome back to babylady.co.uk. We are back in the car. So we've been showing you how to fit all of our favorite car seats in the back of a real car, um, just in case you need any help with the fitting. So this is the Inglesina Darwin car seat. In the bundle, it does come with an Isofix car seat base, but if you do want to fit it in the car without that base, you want to put it in maybe a second car or a grandparent's car, this is how you fit it quite securely with a seat belt. So first of all, we're going to pop our seat in the car like this. Just pop my hood back so you can see what I'm doing. Um, it's always advisable if you do have leather seats, we do recommend putting a mat in the car and um, it will help with the slippage. Um, so we're going to take our seat belt and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our lap belt across the middle of the seat. Now there are two, uh, there are two segments each side of the seat. I've done this side, you probably can't see it. And now I'm going to do this side. They're like little cut out um, grooves, I think is the easiest way to describe them. And what you've got to do is you've just got to thread your seat belt under each one. Now it is very important that you thread them over both. You can't just use one, because that's the only way you're going to secure it. So I've now got our seat belt across here. Now a key point in, in terms of getting a really good fit, I always find it's best to just level the seat at this point. And then also I'm going to take the slack out by pulling it really firmly. I hope you can see me doing this because what we want is we want really tight seat belts all the way here because that will hold your car seat in place and it will help with um, the firm fit. So the next thing I'm going to do is take this belt now round the back of the seat. Now it is important that you do it in this order um, because the lap belt needs to go on first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my belt through these blue segments here on the back of the seat. There's one on this side and there's also one on the other side. We'll try and do a close up of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide them down so that they hold in those segments. And that is going to hold the seat at the back. Now the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten my belt so that it's really firm in the car. And then I'm going to put my handle into the auto position. So obviously it's a little bit more involved than using an Isofix base and you can always purchase an extra Isofix base if you want but if you do need to fit them it's quite nice to know that you can do this. So we're just going to put our handle right down into the auto position so that it's close to the back of the seat and this is because in an accident situation it will help protect your child so it's important that you do finish that final piece as well. So this is how to fit your Darwin car seat in the back of the car with a seat belt. As you can see now I've fitted it it is very very secure if you touch it and it can it's moving chances are you haven't pulled this belt tight enough or this belt so just give it refit it tighten the belt and it should be absolutely fine any questions do get in touch by any of the normal channels if you are watching on our youtube channel we'd always love it if you give us a thumbs up and if you do want to subscribe to our channel you can see lots of other videos we've recorded including the full video demonstration of the darwin icefix base with the darwin car seat which we've also done on our youtube channel Thanks for joining us again today.